السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good afternoon Stars Language Schools Parents كل سنة وانتم طيبين Welcome back to school Welcome back to stars uh, Dear stars students Welcome back to your second home uh, سنة جديدة من التميز Everything will be different إن شاء الله Everything will be fine إن شاء الله I hope you spend a very successful, prosperous academic year. Uh, all the staff were really happy to see you all parents and students, but please, starting from coming Wednesday, only students will be allowed into the school because Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we allowed all the parents to get into the school with the students uh, because it's the first day back to school and it's the right to get in the school and see their kids on their first day. But starting from Wednesday, only students will be allowed into school. Uh, we would like to ask all of you please to stick to the school rules because a school without rules isn't a school. Uh, a school without a discipline code isn't a school. A school without parents, students, staff members uh, following rules is not a real school. Uh, so please, we ask you all to follow the rules concerning the uniform, concerning no trolley bags, concerning the, all the school uniform and the black shoes, uh, except on the PE days, as we told you before, um, you were sent uh, some welcome letters, including some of the school rules. So please read this welcome letter carefully and fill the info sheets and send them back quickly. What are the info sheets? The info sheets are updates for the students and the parents information because having correct accurate information like telephone number like uh, the address like the email of the parents and other data is really essential for uh, communication between parents and schools um, please copy the early departure form and the last and found form and keep them at home for later use. You will need one day uh, to pick up your child early before the end of the day for a very urgent or uh, important reason. So you have to send the early departure form in the day today so we can prepare for the change in the student's dismissal plans. And for example, one day your child lost any of his belongings at school, so you should also send the lost and found form uh, in the day today so we can look for the lost item and find it and give it back to the child. Uh, but please, to make this task easier for us, you have to label all the students' belongings, everything, a copybook, a flask, a lunchbox, everything uh, owned or related uh, to your student, you have to label it so when we find it, we know that this item belongs to that student. Uh, the classes were shuffled somehow uh, and this is for the welfare of the school and for uh, of the students uh, and the school and the educators in charge of running the school, the headmistresses, the deputies, the teachers, uh, they will manage this the best way, don't worry and don't say this will affect my child negatively, no, we'll take care of this and by the way, Kids are very adaptable. They make friends easily and they adapt to any different surroundings in an easy way. So please don't be overprotective and say, I want my kid to be with this teacher or that, or that student um, because later on in life, 
uh, they won't have the option of choosing the people they will be working with or uh, communicating with. Our classes this year are full capacity, alhamdulillah, and shifting, and this makes shifting from French to, to German or vice versa really very hard, uh, and it depends only on availability. What about the school day? As usual, the school day ends at 2.30. Uh, we have a free waiting time in case a parent is stuck on the way or is late a little bit. This is uh, available until 3 o'clock. So there are people looking after uh, the kids until 3 o'clock and this is free of any charge. But the waiting service will be available from 3 to 4 uh, and this will be according, uh, it will be a paid service according to the paper that will be sent uh, at the end of the week. And the waiting service could be either daily or weekly. We provide also a, home, a homework club service the homework club service is only available for years one, two, and three, where the student uh, can start doing his homework under the supervision of a teacher if his parents uh, come late to pick him up for their work uh, conditions. So we have two types of waiting service, just waiting, staying under supervision and waiting for his parents, and homework club and uh, i'll repeat again the homework club is only available for years one two and three why only one two and three because uh, one teacher like a teacher of english will be able to follow the student doing his homework in all subjects up till year three but after year three, one teacher won't do. So I will have to keep a teacher of English, a teacher of mathematics, a teacher of science, and I don't think this is possible. So if your child is over year three or third primary, and he wants a waiting service or you want a waiting service for him, this will be only waiting and not a homework club. Uh, all the information about the waiting service will be sent to you uh, at the end of this week and the details of the homework club will be sent the coming week, at the end of the coming week. This is concerning the primary uh, stage. Let me have a look at the points of the KG. Okay, for the KG stage, uh, the hot meal coupons and snack coupons are available to be used in the school canteen. The coupon can be purchased from the KG department. No money is allowed with the kids. Let me explain this. We have two types of coupons. Uh, you can buy a set of coupons for uh, uh, hot meals or a set of coupons for uh, like equivalent to money. Uh, so you can get these coupons from the KG department and you pay for it. What about the hot meal? It's not a must that your kid gets a hot meal every day. But for example, you have enough snack and food for him today, you don't send the hot meal coupon. But if you don't have enough food or you're not ready enough or you're busy with your work and you need him to have a healthy hot meal at school, so you just staple the coupon, the hot meal coupon, uh, to his or her day to day. And the other type of coupons, as I told you, it's equivalent to money. We have, I think, 10 pounds, 5 pounds. So you can send the, uh, buy the, the, the set of coupons and send it instead of money. And we uh, actually started this idea 
uh, many years ago instead of the money and the kid lost his money and so on. The username and the password of the e-school will be sent in the day today uh, within two weeks. Uh, so we'll be having the username and the password for the e-school during the coming two weeks. The waiting service will start from Sunday, 1st of uh, October. Uh, this coming Sunday will start the waiting service, but the homework club will start on Sunday, 15th of October. Minimum number of students, because you know, uh, to keep a teacher staying for the homework club, uh, we won't let her stay with one child. So we have a minimum number of five students to start the homework club classes and this applies to the KG and to the primary as well. Any remaining books or day-to-day -day or uh, any missing items, uh, we're very sorry for anything that is a little bit late because you know we started uh, a printing center inside the school uh, for ourselves uh, to print all our booklets, all our day-to-day -day and everything we need. So it's quite a new experience and sometimes we face some difficulties because we print a lot of colored material. So sometimes we face some troubles or difficulties with the colored printers. Uh, but actually it's a very successful uh, experience and we are producing all our booklets and day-to-day -day and everything at school but everything will be ready during the coming week. Uh, I wish you all a happy and a successful academic year. Uh, don't rush in getting your kids to know everything and I feel he understands this, I feel he doesn't understand that. I don't want you to forget that your kids have been on vacation for five months. It's quite a long time. I think Egypt or we as Egyptians have the longest summer vacation all over the world. It's five months. So the kids actually came back really blank, really uh, uh, relaxed, so it takes quite uh, some time to get them back to the mood of school and studying and understanding and memorizing. So please give them their time and give us our time. It's like the warming up in sports, for example. If uh, an athlete is practicing sport and he stopped practicing sports for five months, he wouldn't be able to practice with the same efficiency from the first time when he goes back to his practice. Uh, he will take some time to, to be fit. The same happens to the mind. Our minds cannot be fit after five months of rest uh, in, a, in a, a click like this. No, it takes time. So please be patient. And again, I'm repeating like I do every year, parents of students in primary one and primary four, watch out and be calm and patient because these are transitional periods for your kids. The child in primary one is promoted from the KG department and he's still very young. He cannot read really well. He cannot cope with the primary stage system. It will take him some time, but you won't uh, wait for long. He will adapt easily and you will feel the progress very quickly. The same goes for primary four, uh, because primary four actually is a very big transition in all the curricula, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Arabic, English, mathematics, Every, uh, every subject in year four takes a different path in addition to the Ministry of Education, Science and Social Studies curriculum that is added in primary four. So don't feel, oh, 
my son's level got down, there is something wrong with the school, there is something wrong with my child. Nothing is wrong with the school or with your child. It is just a transitional year or period. Uh, I'm always there for you whenever you need to tell me anything, whenever you need to discuss any problem, uh, whenever you need like uh, suggesting something that you feel it will be good for your kids' school, I'm open to all this. You can send me an email to gm at starslanguageschools.com gm at starslanguageschools.com Thank you very much uh, and we'll be meeting more often and regularly in our STARS News Bulletin. Thank you very much.